guys welcome back to my youtube channel today i'll be teaching you how to make your own thumbnails the apps that we're going to be using today are fonto bazart and pixart we want to make a thumbnail like the one in the top right corner when we first click on fonto click on the camera icon plain images and click on one of the boxes we want to change the dimension so we're going to click on 2048 times 2048 at the top click on customs and type in 1280 at the top and 720 at the bottom done gonna add my color I'm going to use this you can use anything else I just think this is cute so to get this you have to have bright pink light pink and bright pink again Again, you can use anything you want. We're gonna apply it and click on use. So we want our pictures. As you can see, we had pictures in our thumbnails. So we're gonna cut them out. They're supposed to look like that. We're gonna go in PixArt. You can use Bazart only, but I think Pixar cuts it out cleaner and it's easier. So you're going to click on your image i'm using the arrow scroll till i see cut out and click on person it's just going to do everything for you i'm going to save it then i'm going to head on over to bazart Click on the plus and start with a photo. Then I'm going to click on the image that I've just saved from Pixart. I'm just carrying it up because there's a watermark and I don't want that on my thumbnail. So as you can see, it's supposed to look like that over there. So I'm scrolling down to outline. I'm going to click on it and adjust. Adjust it. As you can see, I'm just playing around to avoid the watermark. So I'm just going to save it. As you can see, I've already cut out my photos and outlined them. I'm just going to show you how to make this one. So I'm going to click on an image and duplicate it. Then we're going to click on the back one and scroll until you see opacity. We're going to lower it because we don't want it to be as bright as the front one. Then we're going to save it. So I'm going to want a butterfly. So I'm going to go in Safari and type in butterfly. gonna use this one so I'm gonna save it then I'm gonna head on back over to Pixart and we're going to cut it out these ads are so annoying So as you can see that way it's gonna work so we're just gonna have to sit 
and do this one ourselves. So I'm gonna just speed this up. doesn't have to be perfect these ads oh my god so I'm gonna just save it and head on over to font sorry bazaar gonna do the same thing like what we did before you just click on the image Duplicate it. So first I'm fixing it because I don't want the watermark in it. So I'm going to duplicate it after it's supposed to look like that. As I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. Upper city, carry it down. If you want a much more detailed video, you can comment below on how I outline my pictures. We want to make that. So we're going to start from scratch. Click on the plus, start from scratch. You can use any size you want. And we're going to add our text. So you can type in whatever you want to be on your thumbnail. And you can also choose the font you want to use. As you can see I'm choosing a different font. So I'm gonna duplicate it. I'm just playing around to see how I like it best. I think I like this one. So I'm gonna just save it. So we have our butterfly, our font, and our images already. So now we're going to put our thumbnail together. So we're going to head on back over to Fonto. And add the images. So I'm just going to speed this up because I'm just adding all my images and then I'll put them together later. As you can see, I am now placing my photos where I want them and carrying the sizing up a bit. The two end ones are supposed to be the same. So 
then I'm going to carry down the opacity of each of these photos because you don't want them too bright if you want them bright it's up to you however I like mine a bit light around the back so that when I add my font that I saved before as you can see that's what I'm doing it stands out and don't look jumbled I'm gonna save it and on over to Pixart because you want a camera frame I'm gonna go in the search bar and type in camera frame ensure you search for it in stickers and not images I think I'm gonna use this one I'm gonna save it to my phone then I'm going to go back and click on the image that I saved from Fonto and add my picture the camera frame that I saved and we're just gonna adjust it to fit perfectly So if you want to add a few more stuff, so I'm going to go ahead and add some butterfly. You can. If not, you can just save it. So when you add these images, you have to carry down the opacity as I said, because you don't want it to be too jumbled. 